Hello, so here is a short video, short video talking about this painting I'm currently doing. Mm, this is for like um, talking about the beginning, I guess. So, does it remind you something? I'm just processing, okay, it's not over yet. So, we will see in the next video how it's gonna progress. To be honest, I need to let it dry a little bit and then to keep doing. Uh, this is Adam and Eva. You can recognize this, maybe. I'm gonna make the garden of it, the of Eden, uh, more gardenish. I don't know how to say that. Like just um, crazy, natural, a beautiful, a beautiful chaos, maybe. Uh, like, uh, um, okay, let's see. Let's just see where she gets the apple from. Not from a snake. I want to talk about another animal, so that tree is fine. Adam is just chilling there, you know, it's okay. But from a pig, she's gonna get it. Why? So... Should I really explain? Because if I explain, then you're gonna just... I don't know if it's like a spoiler. I, I want you to have your own feeling with it, you know, your own connection with what you, you see yourself. So we... Uh, but like yeah, I want to talk this hyper sexualization of society and it's a good coincidence. I also stopped doing a job as a copywriter that I was doing for a few months. So that's why I was uh, um, sometimes less active on the channel and everything. Anyway, the channel is very at the beginning, so I'm not losing much so far. But like uh, this was about um, sexualization of everything. Basically, working for a German guy, an expat in Bangkok, who was just um, telling me that nobody cares about art or philosophy or intellectual stuff, and everybody cares only of fucking sex is important. Uh, like, okay, I get it. Of course, we are addicted to it. We can compare sex with the drug, maybe with the need and uh, the, the needy feeling, you know, uh, up to a specific despair, you know, so you turn desperate when you're desperate, like a mix of a dog, a pig, I can tell, you know, and uh, uh, when you repress sex, you dream of, of it, you can have up to wet dreams, so uh, one time I just cheesed in my pants very uh, stupidly when not touching myself for like 25 days or 26 I don't know I haven't counted that specifically I tried to do like in the movie for 40 days you know this was just like a challenge I was very sensitive it's just up oh, it's like physical reaction so sex is everywhere it's all the time everywhere but like uh, now it became more blasé like it became so much of a normal thing that's like both yeah whatever come okay yeah yeah here we go using each other like um, goods to consume, like this yogurt that I'm gonna throw away this continent once I'm done with the content, you know. And uh, there's a lot of the market all the time. So in that market, I was almost thinking to make Adam checking his smartphone with Tinder in case, checking his radar, if there are other women next to him, just in case Eva is hot enough. But she's naked in front of him, everything is fine. Do they notice they're naked? I don't know, maybe they're gonna notice it after she gets the apple from the pig, who knows? But the idea would be that he checks his Tinder, maybe, while there are the two only human beings in the garden, technically, from the beginning. So uh, he, there will be nobody available on the Tinder anyway, because he only has Eva and maybe it's a good thing I don't know normally we tend to think uh, diversification is good variety is good to have more choices is good all the time but okay if it's like another choice why not another choice again another and another and another and another and another and another and like no matter what like there will be more women available at some point then there are seconds available for the rest of my life to live so i cannot catch all these women per second anyways at some point oh, you cannot get them all right you cannot catch them all it's not pokemon right so um so another eva could have checked the same thing she's uh, according to the religions the one who is guilty so she needs to get this apple you know 
the original sin, right? Uh, so the Hindus can conceptualize uh, uh, they have done some bad karma in the past reincarnation. Here they can conceptualize, but well, it's not exactly like this. So it's the snake who is the devil talking to yeah, snake and talk according to the book but you know it's metaphors you know okay uh telling uh, yeah get that apple you know the distinction between good and evil like you will see it's interesting curiosity is key bite that you know it's good full of like, vitamins and everything okay enjoy something like this okay um so here we are it's again the same idea, sexualization of society. I was talking shortly about me doing being a screenwriter. No, not a screenwriter, I'm sorry. I'd been I'd done this job shortly as well, but a copywriter. And I, uh, I talked in some uh, videos slightly about it, like uh, uh, my job was to pretend to be a woman named Laura, not Eva, but Laura, a hot woman. Uh, German porn star style that is told the my boss told the images from I guess some porn website I can tell and uh, texting boomers who are in their fifties kind of desperate for like testosterone problems you know like uh, problems with having a boner by the way boner in French is happiness and maybe there's a connection and uh, telling like. Uh, Telling them that they need Testo Max 200 or whatever, they need like some specific products or some ebooks teaching them to be uh, gods in the bed, you know, or whatever, to, to just be able to have a boner. And ironically, the, the entrepreneur himself like, just didn't even believe in his own product. So there is a, a myth of the perfect entrepreneur acting like a hero, identifying himself to the customers, like. Uh, bringing a change to the world, incarnating some values, like being meaningful or whatever. Let's be honest, most of the time we all pretend. We pretend most of the time. I mean, and the guy saying we pretend is ironically honest, while the guy saying I'm always honest is actually pretending. That's the paradox of it. So um, I was just throwing the thought here talking like I was having uh, this sexual job that was turning me a bit crazy as well and according to the market the boomers the 50 years old guy were not buying enough um, uh, test to max 200 that anyway he knew that the product was like a placebo may maybe like religion sometimes actually but like not helping much you know or helping maybe in the mind so for some time who knows maybe it's helping if the copywriting is saying something good you know something attractive through the emails but at some point it stopped so uh, according to the law of the market so that was just a short video uh, sharing this and the market is very piggy apparently what is only interesting nowadays uh, women show it their ass on Instagram and people having to flex all the time. So I'm very proud to put a t-shirt because actually I don't use t-shirt for painting, you know. But I took the shower, I did my workout, now I'm having probably this t-shirt. Everything is fine. I do a simple video like this and uh, I will keep um, and sharing more actually. Now I'm enjoying this excess of freedom aside of other job, another job I do that I will tell you later again which is about creating personas online that are not you in order to sell more think about it okay cheers